Hello everyone, welcome back to Key Comics Market Watch. I am Brian Arango, the Latino with the cornrows, here to show you another awesome haul video. Now, I haven't made a haul video for over a week now and I had took that two month hiatus. So, uh, definitely during them two months that I was out of the picture, I had done a lot, I had picked up a lot of stuff. So I never got a chance to show that stuff off. So this haul right here is actually one of those hauls that I got in no this November. <laughs> in fact, I got this November the 12th of last year. So uh, and uh, it was at one of the uh, libraries that I go to where they actually sell comics. Uh, they have two of them in Maryland. Uh, so I got a nice stack of books and came out to $18.02 um, with tax, you know, so basically it was $17, it was a dollar two in tax, but so uh, before we get started, as always you guys, I'm happy to have y'all here, and uh, like I always say, don't skip the skippable ads, the reason why I ask you not to skip the ads is because because I'm a small channel, every ad counts, and that's how I make my revenue is off the ads. So when you skip them, I don't get that ad revenue. Now, if you want to skip the ads anyway and still want to, you know, contribute to the channel, you can always go to the Cash App, and this is my handle right here. You can donate whatever you want. Thank you, everyone that's been donating. The man, people have really donated. I appreciate you guys. I have people that consistently donate also. So, thank you, everyone. And if you have not signed up to the Cash App yet, download the app, put this as the promo code right here, and you'll get five dollars for free, and I'll get five dollars for free. So, use that uh, that code right there. Alright everyone, so let's get this haul started, alright you guys? So, the first book that I got is Iron Man number 305. Now, the importance of this book is the first uh, Hulkbuster armor. Now, this book is usually a $10 to $15 book. At one point, it was going for higher, but now it's cooled off some. But it's staying in that $10 to $15 range. So, very happy about that. All right, the next book I got is Creed number one from Lightning Comics. Now this, uh, I just got it because I've never had it and it's an issue number one. And why not, you know, issue number one for a dollar, why not? So I picked it up and was happy to get it. Now this doesn't go for too much money, so it's usually like a five dollar book. But never know in the future they might do something, never know, so eh. All right, and then I got Creed number one. Uh, I forgot the name of, uh, this is, uh, I think, volume two. Um, now, this one right here is actually a diamond uh, exclusive right here at the bottom. Uh, and they also have one that um, has like a embossed cover sort of like. Um, now, that one goes for a little bit more, but this actually is a, a $10 to $15 book. So happy to find it for a dollar. All right. Now this one right here, uh, I was definitely happy to find this. It's called the Outer Space Babes. Uh, now it has another is is another cover on the uh, opposite side. Now this one right here is volume two of issue number one. And the reason why I was excited to get it is because it's the limited edition signed and numbered. Uh, issue. Uh, this is issue. Uh, this is number 753 out of uh, 1200. So there was only 1200 of these limited edition signed ones. Now, when you go inside the book, to, uh, the signatures are in the front of the book. The signature is actually, and this is the what the cover looks like on the other side. Now, the the signatures are actually inside the book, and it's on. As soon as you open it, it's right there. See it? And it has all the signatures. And these are not, th these are actually, they actually signed it, signed it. So it's not like it's a, you know, like it's a photo print or whatever. It's actually them signing it. And it tells you 
this the limited number it is out of 1200 so that's how you know it's the is the actual limited edition so very happy to get that and i actually like this cover better than the other one on the other side so i was happy to get that for a dollar all these books were basically a dollar now this one was one i was definitely happy to get um it's called it's the dirty pair run from the future issue number four out of the four issue limited series now the reason why i was happy to get this book is because this book normally is a 25 dollars book by itself now if you get the whole one through four run that usually it goes between 35 to 70 dollars for the whole run so uh it's it's definitely a, a valuable run and people definitely want it because of the art of course and this one is the more valuable one out of the four so i was very happy to get this one can't go wrong with that all right and then of course i'm gonna pick this up every time i see it pit number one and they had two of them very happy about that so i'm gonna keep picking up pit one number one now, i have to say pit number one uh if you get them cgc uh 9.8 are going for about 40 bucks which isn't bad if you really consider the fact that it's a heavily printed book it's very very heavily printed um so just imagine if they finally do something with Pitt as far as a show or a movie or something. I expect that book to definitely at least reach 100, probably 9.8. So definitely I'm glad to just pick up as many as I can for now until, you know, eventually something happens. Now, this one right here, I don't have, I usually don't collect a lot of horror. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, got to pick it up. And not only that, I knew this was a, a probably a variant. So the Texas Chainsaw Man uh, Massacre, The Grind, issue number one. This is the terror cover. So definitely, definitely was happy to get that. Now this book right here is normally a $15 book also. So very happy. And it's a near mint. It's a 9.8 candidate, definitely. So very happy about that. And then they also had uh, the Texas Chainsaw Man Massacre special number one. And this is the Gore cover, which also this cover goes for about $10. So happy to get that also. I have to say when um, Avatar was doing the covers for this, oh man, they was goring it up. You know what I'm saying? So they was holding nothing back at all. So happy to pick that up. Now, this is my first time owning this book. Now, the only thing is that um, it does have two uh two uh two uh spine ticks that break color uh so i'm kind of upset about that but oh well at least i got it for a dollar so it's catwoman number 56 adam hughes variant and as you can see i don't know if you can see them but you should be able to see the spine ticks on there you see it right there there go one where's that other one somewhere around here but anyways happy to get that whenever i see adam hughes captain um catwoman i'm gonna pick it up especially if i get it for a dollar why not wish it was the more valuable one this is not exactly the one of the most valuable ones out of that but happy to get it all right and then we got a uh, feel by warren ellis on image comics issue number one picked it up because the number one warren ellis why not this book doesn't really go for much, but you never know in the future. Just never know. So issue number one, had to pick it up. Had to pick it up. Picked up another copy of Generation Next, issue number two. First appearance of Sugar Man. Probably got <laughs> over 10 copies of this, probably. I, I, I keep picking it up, but I'm going to keep picking it up because Sugar Man is, you know, a character, a reoccurring character. So why not? You know, never know. It might actually go for some in the future. Just never know. So, got to pick up the first appearances for a dollar. Got to. All right, now this is Gen number Gen 13, issue 73. Now, the reason why I picked it up. Now, this book right here is hard to find in the wild. So, when I saw it, I was like, oh, okay. Now, issue 78 is the last issue of the run. 
And issue so 73 is not too far from 78. So it, it started getting lower print during this time. So I definitely was happy to get it. Now this is usually a $10 book easy. So happy about that. And they had issue 74 also, which I was really happy about that. I was like, man, they got issue 74. Was looking for 75, 76, 77, 78. I was like, ah, uh, but they didn't have them. And I was like, ah. Uh. But very happy to get this later, you know, these later issues that I know are lower print. This one's about a $15 book right here. So definitely be on the lookout for these Gen 13s in the later stages. Now, I had just recently uh, did a video where I had picked up this Generation X number 68 Arthur Adams. And in that video, I had said that I had picked up this before. So this is the other one that I had picked up. So I picked up two of them in the past two months, no, three months. I picked up two copies of this Arthur Adams uh, Generation X um, cover, which I really, really am digging. All right. And then I got issue number 74, which is the issue before the last issue, which is a low print run. And I just like this cover, really, really like it. So I had to get it. Now, this book doesn't go for too much. It goes for about five bucks. Uh, this one right here, uh, it's about a five dollar book also. But I just love Arthur Adams' art. Just love it. So I'm going to pick this up every time I see it. All right. And then, of course, they had the last issue, issue 75. Now, this is my second issue 75 that I picked up in the past three months because in that last haul, I had also picked this up. So, uh, very happy that I got two of the last issue. This book is hard to find in the wild. This is about $10 to $15 book, easy. So, um, definitely, if you see the last issues of any run, of anything, just pick it up, especially if you get it for a dollar. All right. Now, they also had Generation X Wizard Half with the certificate. So, I was happy to pick that up. I don't have this. This book only goes for about 5 to $10. It doesn't go for a lot. But just happy to get it, you know, especially for a dollar in near mint condition. Now, this is my second pickup of this, but this one is actually in better condition than the one I picked up before. Now, the other one I picked up before, I would say, is a 9.2 to a 9.4. This one right here is look like it could be a 9.6. Maybe pushing a 9.8, maybe. Uh, but it's Absolute Vertigo uh, from Winter 95. Now, the importance of this issue is that this previews... Um, uh, it previews you, um, uh, what is it, um, oh man, my, my mind is stuck, um, Preacher, that's what it is, it, it uh, is the preview to Preacher before Preacher number one came out, so this predates Preacher number one, which is great, uh, this book normally is about a $20 book, so very happy to find it, I, I, I hopefully I get assigned and then cgc so I can really get some money for this, but uh, definitely happy to pick up another one. Didn't think I would find another one. The other one, I picked that up for like, I think 75 cents. All right, and then we have the Alien Le Legion issue number one, special first issue. Now, I love Alien Legion. I have to say, um, if you get a chance, you should definitely pick this book up and read it. The artwork is awesome on the inside. Love the series. Definitely this book doesn't really go for too much. It's like a $5 book. But I have to say, I definitely wish it would um, they would do something with it in the future so it, it, people could appreciate this series. Because I really liked it when it came out. And I definitely love the artwork. So, very happy about that. And last but not least, you guys, I have to say, I was not expecting to find this. Now, this book right here, I have the this issue number zero. Now, I have the reg, the other cover of issue number zero, um, and I have issue the whole run of this um, of this from a, a collection I bought 
of horror comics that I bought a couple, what, two years ago? And I bought it for like $70. The collection, it was like five short boxes. It was crazy. And all the books were near mint, 9.8 and above. Like, they were just so amazing, the condition. So, uh, the guy definitely took care of his books. Um, now, I really, really was shocked when I saw this book there for a dollar. Because I know how much this book goes for. It's crazy. So, it's Wormwood... Um, Gentleman's Corpse, the the Taster, uh, Retail Incentive, issue, issue, issue Zero. Now, the thing about this one is that it was basically a one-purse store. Uh, so there's not but so many copies of this out, um, especially in this condition. Now, this, this one right here, I would say is a 9.4. Uh, I think a pressing would do wonders for it because... Um, the issue it has is basically at the bottom. It's like a little, it's like, I can't explain it. You see it? But it doesn't break color. It's just, it's, it's it looks like it's dirt, like it was a little bit of dirt. So I need to dry clean it and then press it. Cause it doesn't look like it breaks color at all. So I definitely need to do that. Um, but Definitely, definitely, uh, if you go on eBay right now, you'll see that there's only one listed. And he has it, he has it, he, he's saying that his is an 8.5, and he wants $139, if I remember correctly, for his copy, ungraded. So, um, definitely, definitely, I was like, man, um, and I, I've been, I, ever since I've gotten this in November, uh, ever since I picked this up, I've still been checking, like, constantly on eBay to see if anyone else has posted another one and they haven't so um yeah this is a very scarce book it's it's hard to find I'm happy to I think in my condition of mine it'll probably be like a $300 book so we're very very happy to find that for a dollar so like just it's crazy to just go out there hunting and just never know what you're gonna find so very happy about that you guys now I have to say thank you for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up uh definitely uh make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed hit the galactus head right there hit these two old old uh, videos right here and my daughter wanted to say hi and until next time everyone happy to have y'all back and looking at my videos again I, I appreciate it and i'm just happy to be back on youtube on a regular so thank you everyone uh and until next time peace